Why are we here? Why are we here? Because for decades, nobody else is doing what we are now standing up or sitting down to do. I've been in this business 33 years altogether. At the BBC, then as a freelance, at The Guardian, writing about, campaigning against the destruction of our glorious living planet. And every single year, I've heard people say, well, the government hasn't done enough, but it's a good start. Every year has been a good start. Every year there's been a beginning, but never a middle or an end to this story. And why not? Why? When so many people are so desperate to see action, it is because though we claim to live in a democracy, in many respects, it resembles a plutocracy. Where the voice of the people should be heard, the money of the city and the fossil fuel industry and the farming lobby and the fishing industry and the auto manufacturers and the airlines lobby counts instead. We are not heard because they are heard. We are excluded because they are included. The will of the people is not done. Parliament will not do this for us. 33 years I have waited and 33 years it has not happened. Corporations will not do this for us. And I'm sorry to say, but the big NGOs will not do this for us either. Where we need mass action, where we need radicalism, instead from them, we've seen half measures. Well, this, my friends, is where the full measures begin. We are here to defend the living world that others have not defended. We are here to support the life support systems that defend us. We are here to keep fossil fuels in the ground. To get the mass livestock industry off the land. To stop the ripping apart of the oceans by super trawlers and other forms of destruction pushed by profit. To shut down airport space. To get a sensible transport policy that puts people and planet first and fossil fuel last. Above all, to dethrone economic growth as the objective of government. To replace it by the only thing that counts, which is the well-being of all the species on Earth. Ourselves and the other glorious creatures with which we share this wonderful planet. The only planet known to support life, though the intelligent bit is yet to be demonstrated. We want not just to protect what we already have, but to restore what we have lost. Yes. To bring the trees back to the barren hills. Yes. To let the rivers run freely once more. Yes. To allow the seas to surge with whales and dolphins again. Yes. To see the great profusion, the wonders of life that our ancestors knew and our great-grandchildren could know again. We are here, my friends, for the once and future planet. No one else will deliver it for us. No one is left but us. Where does the Extinction Rebellion begin? With whom does the Extinction Rebellion begin? We have waited long enough. We are waiting no longer. The only time that people know it's serious is when people are prepared to sacrifice their liberty 
a defense of their beliefs. We are those people. We put our hands up in defense of Mother Earth. We put our hands up in defense of humanity. We put our hands up against extinction and for life.